Welcome to the only daily podcast focusing on compliance news of the day. Each morning, start your day with a cup of coffee and Tom Fox, the voice of compliance, to hear about four of the top compliance, corruption, or leadership stories you will need to start your day. The Daily Compliance News is a production of the Compliance Podcast Network. First, a word from our sponsor. The Daily Compliance News for July 24, 2023, The Struggles in China edition. We begin with that story from the Financial Times, which reports that work has dried up for U.S. consultancies in China after national security raids. Bain, BCG, and McKinsey push back start dates for new recruits to as late as 2025 as these raids have scared away local clients and global investors have pulled back from deal-making in the country. Really no surprise there. Uh, Bain, for instance, is telling China hires to wait to at least 2025 to start their jobs. So the uh, attacks by China in form of national security raids are certainly having their desired effect of closing off Western businesses in China. Uh, next up from Bloomberg, uh, the department, or uh, rather the uh, GOP, released their uh, the FBI report on purported Biden corruption in um, Ukraine. And of course, as with every other GOP claim of Biden corruption, it turns out it didn't show it at all. And it actually cleared the Biden. So GOP really needs to try and get their story right. It's just... Uh, pathetic uh, what they have tried to uh, paint the Biden family with regarding corruption. Next up from Reuters, uh, the telecom group Altis is co-founder who uh, has been uh, questioned by a judge in regarding alleged corruption at the group has denied any wrongdoing. Uh, the founder was co-founder was detained last week as a part of an investigation in alleged corruption, tax fraud, and money laundering at the company. Police said the investigation focused on suspicions that the group's procurement process was rigged. Corruption in Portugal, I'm shocked, just shocked to uh, hear of this. This is going to be one of the biggest corruption cases in recent memory in Portugal, so it's going to be interesting to see, and we'll certainly follow it on the daily compliance news. And our final story comes to us from the Wall Street Journal, Risk and Compliance Journal, uh, Dylan Tokar reporting that the Justice Department is revamping a team it launched nearly two years ago to investigate cryptocurrency cyber-related crimes, saying the move will more than double the number of prosecutors available to work on the team's growing caseload. Uh, The team will get a new leader, and uh, there will be more uh, prosecutors moved into position to uh, take on these crimes. I can only say when the DOJ uh, moves more prosecutors into an area, the one thing you can be assured of that there will be more prosecutions in that area because work expands out to the amount of time you have to do it plus the number of people you have to do the work. So expect more cyber enforcement from the DOJ. The Daily Compliance News is a production of the Compliance Podcast Network and a proud member of C-Suite Radio. Thanks so much for listening. I hope you'll join me again tomorrow.